I guess, well, let me where, where do we stop is my question. If we're banning guns and we're banning knives, okay. should we ban cars? Okay, let me just answer that, because the mayor, independent of herself, cannot make the decision. In New York City, how it operated, the mayor and the police commissioner worked together, and the commissioner is given a task for the police force and to work with his brass, but they do it in consultation with one another. I would hope that the mayor would also talk with his police force um, and begin to make the decisions that are best, for, again, for their particular culture. So it's not in the hands of politicians. It's in the hands of those who we have elected or who have been appointed to make the decisions who have the expertise in crime prevention. You know, after 9-11, I was on the front lines of 9-11, we had to do a whole different take on how law enforcement was going to happen because of 9-11. We had never inspected cars before. We had never inspected planes before for bombs. And so you have to change according to the violence of the time. Well, we didn't the ban bottom line planes. is we don't... Excuse me. What, what we, well, we certainly put more security in. There was not TAS before 9-11. But we didn't I was ban on the, the front object. lines of 9-11. So, okay, you ban, you do what's necessary to curb the violence and to save lives. I don't mind going through a security line now. That's not the, At that's first, not it was the same thing, though. That's not the same no, thing. We didn't no, ban but the object. No, no, it is the same thing. When there are weapons, you have to make the decisions in terms of how do we deter them. There are magnometers in many schools and in certain well, schools. Let me ask you not. this, Dr. Cook. Parkland, Park, no, no, let me finish my sentence because I want to respond. Parkland, Florida is going to have to do school a whole lot different as many other schools in America are now because of what happened in Parkland. So it's not been, so they are well, making We're almost out of time. I know, do want to ask you this question before we have, to, on, okay. before we have to go to commercial. Okay. Where, where do we stop, though? Okay. Because any object can be used as a murder weapon. I mean, people use jump ropes as murder weapons. They use screwdrivers. They use hammers. They use their own fists. Actually, a quarter of the amount of murders by knife are committed with people's own hands and feet. People have used chairs. They've used cars. They've used saws. They've used axes. They've used a dessert spoon. I mean, any object can theoretically be used as a murder weapon. You know this. You've worked in violence before. So where does this end I've if we're banning the objects? I've Okay, let me answer your question. I've worked in law enforcement before, and I know that when you look at where the most murders come from, you have to make a decision in terms of we start there. And then, you know, spoons are not on the front lines of most newspapers, on the headlines of most newspapers. Yes, a fist can beat someone up, but guns have been proven to take lives, many lives. Knives have been proven to take many lives. So you and I can't make but the final de more lives decision. Where do take. we stop? We stop when the we stop when the violence stops. That's when we stop. Well, that's that's extremely scary. It seems to me the violence is only going to stop if we outlaw humans, because humans are the ones that are the proponents of the violence in the first place. It's not the inanimate object.